This morning's guest has been all aboard for kids for more than 30 years. Now you've got a chance to get on board. What's it all about? You'll find out coming up next on Carolina People. Good morning. Welcome to Carolina People. This morning we're at the Coastal Regional Outreach Center of the South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind. We're focused on this Friday's All Aboard for Kids gala and silent auction to benefit the Boys and Girls Club of the Grand Strand. And we're visiting with its executive director, Don Hall. Good morning, Don. Good morning, Greg. Thanks so much for coming in to kick off the week here. And of course, real excitement leading up to this Friday's event. Yeah, we're very excited to have an opportunity for people to come out and support the Boys and Girls Club, uh, enjoy themselves at a, a upscale restaurant, Omi Pacific Grill. Oh, wow. Right um, up there on Lake Arrowhead. Correct. In yeah. the Galleria Shopping Center. And um, I know a number of people are looking forward to uh, coming out and supporting the club and then taking advantage of some of those uh, wonderful appetizers they're going to have there. Oh, yeah. Um, we're planning to have a silent auction. Um, one of our local uh, DJ entertainers, Wally B, will be uh, providing some music. Wally B will be there. Mm -hmm. That would be great. It, it should be a great time for people, still kind of a casual business, uh, come as you are sort of thing after work. Right. Doesn't take up the whole weekend. Um, right. You know, and, and people can bid on items to support the after school and summer day camp programs of the Boys and Girls Club. As you know, we have two locations now. Right. Um, we've expanded over this past year uh, to include a unit at the Atlantic Beach Community Center. Okay. Uh, in addition to our Carver Street location, the Colbert and Bell Community Center unit. So we are serving more kids and of course, we need more money to help uh, run the programs and, and offer those opportunities to at-risk kids. Right. A lot more uh, needs, clearly, to be serviced there. And, and last year, I think you all had the All Aboard for Kids, the same event, the Gala and Silent Auction. Was it at the train depot? It was at the historic Myrtle Beach train depot. Right. And uh, that was our first attempt, and I think it went very well. Yeah. Um, a little more rustic setting right. uh, yeah. at the train depot, but nonetheless, uh, I think people had a good time and, and we had some good support and we're hopeful that we can continue to have signature events and make, make them grow and, and uh, build a following oh, yeah. uh, that will come and support us and, and uh, it's always good to have a, a fun time um, and a good cause and put those two things together. Absolutely and this Friday will be a great example and so many other events you'll do during the year to try to get the word out about the Boys and Girls Club, the place to be for yep. folks to really think about the place to be, surely both for aftercare as well as, as you said, in the summertime. Well, we have a, a lot of kids that um, otherwise that come to the Boys and Girls Club that otherwise wouldn't have a place to go. Mm -hmm. um, we refer to a lot of the kids as latchkey kids mm. who would come home after school, mom or dad still at work, there's no adult supervision. Um, it's important for them to have a place to go. Um, where they're safe, where there's somebody to help them with their homework, mm -hmm. they can get an after school snack, um, there are positive activities of all sorts, a computer lab, games room, uh, interaction with our staff and volunteers, and then when mom and dad get off, or mom, as the case is for 63% of our kids, mm. can come and pick up their children at, at the club knowing that they've been involved in, in something positive rather than left to their own devices at home, right. um, and who knows what could happen Anything. in that situation. Sure, sure. Don, for a viewer who needs to get off to work now or get family off to school, is there a good phone number or would they want to visit your website uh, to learn more about the All Aboard, uh, the Gala and Silent Auction, the All Aboard for Kids event this Friday, or even, of course, about your very successful Boys and Girls Club week last week and so many of the other activities you all have going on in the area? Well, yes. Um, people can call 445 nine nine six four okay great or visit our website and that is www.bgclubgs.org okay and we have information about the gala our programs um, some pictures from uh, previous events um, just a wealth of information that they can get online um, parents can download a membership application great. in adobe pdf uh, file format and, and get the process started 
currently we have a waiting list for our after school program at the Colbert and Bell unit, mm. but the Atlantic Beach uh, unit is still accepting uh, memberships um, for the after school program. Hopefully shortly in the near week or so we'll be uh, accepting applications for our, <laughs> summer, our 10 week summer day camp program. 10 week summer day camp, mm -hmm. right. Which right. is again uh, a low cost uh, opportunity for parents to have their kids involved in something positive. Mm. We're open from 7.30 in the morning till 6 at night. We provide a breakfast, a lunch, uh, and a snack. We have two field trips a week. Last year the cost was $40 a week per child. That's all? And also in, in Atlantic Beach, we had, um, because it's, it's severely um, economically depressed for a lot of the families that live in public housing, the cost was just $20 a week. Mm. So as you can imagine, it's, it's a great opportunity for working parents who are struggling uh, to meet, you know, make ends meet. Right. And um, that's really what the Boys and Girls Club is all about, is we try and go into the communities that really have a need uh, for kids to be in, in a program like ours. And um, it's sometimes a challenge from a financial yeah. standpoint, but uh, that's why we have events like the All Aboard for Kids Gala right. and Auction. That's tremendous, John. What actually prompted your involvement in uh, the Boys and Girls Club movement? And when was that, Don? Um, when did you first get, am I correct, is it almost a three decade? It's pretty close to 30 years ago uh, that I, I uh, started with the Boys and Girls Clubs in Whatcom County in Washington State oh. in the Bellingham area. I uh, had a brief stint in the Navy and uh, got out and they hooked me up with a job through the Comprehensive Employment and Training Act. And I started at the Bellingham Library, didn't like that too much, um, <laughs> and kind of gravitated over to the Boys and Girls Club there, uh, what at that point was known as the Boys Club, and uh, enjoyed that. And wasn't much more than a kid myself. Uh, right, I think I was 20-some right. years of age and yeah. um, thought it was pretty neat to, to get paid to basically play with kids. <laughs> and um, so I, I, that's how I started my career as, a, as the uh, social recreation director in a games room. Wow. And then have progressed over the years and in a little more responsible positions. Right, and, uh, right. You know, You're but still it's, playing a little bit, Don. I, I I'm still sure. get I to be a kid. Yeah. I still get to be a kid um, a lot of times. And uh, that's one of the great things about uh, the Boys and Girls Club is we get to work with kids before they become problems. Right. And we try and help families, the schools, the churches. We're just part of the same system of community support that kids really need especially in this environment that we have today where we have the non-nuclear families. You know, it's a lot of our kids are single parent, uh, live in single parent families mm. and, um, you know, a lot of them have uh, uh, economic challenges that are, are barriers for kids mm -hmm. continuing on through life and being productive citizens. So the more we can do to help parents, to help the schools right. with education, with positive values, right. um, you know, just plain keeping kids out of trouble mm -hmm. is, is a benefit to uh, everybody in the community. Right. Um, right. If you think about what it costs to put someone in jail for a year and what, mm. it, what we pay for additional police officers and uh, the court system and all that, it makes so much more sense to invest in the upstream side of things right. rather than down the road when it's much harder to, to reclaim someone that's turned down the wrong path. Right. And, um, that's really what gets me excited about the Boys and Girls Club is, um, you know, and I, as a military uh, brat, I, I lived all around the world and, and took advantage of military youth centers, which in this day and age, now many of, uh, of which are Boys and Girls Club operations because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Department of Defense has realized uh, the Boys and Girls Club has some strong programs and, right. and that strong national organization to uh, really help them with youth development. Mm -hmm. So um, that's kind of, I think, where the connection happened for me as, as a kid growing up and taking advantage of that and then uh, finding the opportunity in Bellingham when I first got out of the service. That's tremendous, John. Speaking of connection, what's the biggest connection our viewers could have? What could they do? What would be a real call to action? I know we've got a little time. We're going to get into a lot of things. But if a viewer needs to get off now, obviously they know to call the 445-9964. I think you also talked about some volunteer opportunities as well as making donations and we'll highlight some more ways that their funds will be used, but what would be the, the real driving uh, push for, for our viewers? Well, we have um, some great volunteers that come down to our Boys and Girls Clubs. Um, 
We have a, a couple of ladies that come down every Thursday, for example, who uh, work in the accounting field, and it's quite a change for them to um, be working on someone's taxes at, yeah. at one point, and then they're coming down and helping kids with their homework or um, with our Reading <coughs> Wizards program, um, helping kids with their vocabulary and reading right. skills. And it's, it's something that can really um, give give you a, a lot of enthusiasm and it's almost contagious with the kids as to how much they enjoy positive adult contact and you really can do just about anything if you have uh, a hobby or a skill that you'd like to share with a child right that's something that can be done through the boys and girls club we had another volunteer who was down um, that did a microwave cooking class really and it was a very popular thing because yeah. we'd make um, um, you know, puddings, and the, the great part about it, of course, is not only do you get to make it, but you get to eat what, Listen, what uh, ends up yeah, coming out. Yeah. And, um, but if you think about it, that's a great life skill for kids to have. And right. many of them, um, there will be times in their life when they're going to get home and there's no adult there, and they have to take mm -hmm. care of themselves. Mm -hmm. So having a basic skill like being able to cook for oneself safely using a microwave, right. On the one hand, it doesn't sound terribly important, but on the other sure. hand, it, it is something that, that helps them um, become productive, uh, responsible uh, adults later on. And this is for kids of all ages? Yep. We, we take kids basically at school age. Five okay. years of age is the youngest we take them, right. on up to 18. And um, you know, it's, it's just a program that, uh, that has all sorts of opportunities. And different boys and girls clubs in different areas really do um, have different programs. I've been part of many Boys and Girls Club organizations, uh, I think seven in my career of 30 years. Mm -hmm. And some will have large sports programs. Others will, like ours here, will have a real focus on education right. and assisting um, kids with making it through school. They, as we know, South Carolina, unfortunately, has a, a tough time with kids that are graduating from high school. Right. Um, especially with minority populations and, and people that are facing issues like poverty and, um, you know, they only have a single parent at, at home. Um, all those things kind of combine to, to make the, you know, finishing one's education, at least getting a high school diploma, that much tougher. So anything we can do to help is, is going to be very positive and uh, make a difference for the kids. 7.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. for that 10-week program during yep. the summer. I mean, what's a typical day like <laughs> for the children who may show up? I guess there's probably no such thing as a typical day, Don, but it, oh. if there, I mean, clearly there's some structure during each day, and uh, can you break down a typical day for folks that are thinking about it and may have a real need here? And again, they could call now to try to get lined up, or are they, you said there's still some opening. Right. We're, this we're um, currently getting ready to start taking registrations for the 10-week okay, summer not yet, program. Right. Um, I'm anticipating that'll be about the mid-April mid point that we'll start. A week from now, yeah. We'll, we'll start that first week of June following um, the end of school right, right. for the actual program and it'll run 10 weeks. But, I mean, the kids get there in the morning and usually um, they may have some uh, cereal and some fruit for breakfast, as mm -hmm. an example. A lot of working parents are they're on to their job, and they need to they need to have a, their, their kids dropped off and in, in, in a safe place that they know they'll be involved in. And y'all are supplying all the food. That's included as a part right. of that forty dollars, or as you right. said, twenty dollars up in uh, Atlantic Beach. Well, I think the the main thing people need to understand we it's important for for our uh, clients that the the kids and their parents to pay something. Right. We don't anticipate or ask them to pay the whole cost of what it is needed to, to run the program. So uh, we have to make that up through other means. 